Hello everyone, uh, this is Roberto Torre and today uh, we are going to uh, uh, have a lecture about uh, network coded cooperative networks. This is a lecture for uh, cooperative communication systems uh, from the Deutsche Telekom Chair of uh, Communication Networks. So uh, we're going to start with a short introduction about network coded cooperation, uh, cooperative networks and the the main the main target of this of this uh, system uh, which is uh, multicasting in cellular networks so let's start with what is a network coded cooperative networks i will explain this more in detail later but i just want you to introduce uh, what this uh, this system is so uh, later uh, you can understand um, mainly how uh, how they the, how these networks appeared? Uh, what is this re the reason for this for this system and so on? So, a network coded cooperative network is a cooperative mobile cloud that uses the benefits of network coding and cooperative networks in order to reliable, reliably disseminate data to the users. So, uh, a mobile cloud in the end is uh, I will explain this later, but it's a set of users. And what we are doing is these users are going to be able to cooperate together and they, are, they will all be able to use network coding. In the end, uh, the main objective of, of these networks is that we will have massive uh, data dissemination to multiple users that coexist in the same place with high reliability because of network coding, high throughput also because of network coding, and uh, as an outcome also we will reduce the overlay network traffic, whatever whatever this, this uh, overlay network is. So, uh, how, this, uh, how uh, did these uh, networks uh, appear? Uh, as I said, uh, the main target is uh, to multicast uh, in the cellular network. So, uh, if we have the normal cellular network, we have this uh, radio access network, the RAN, that connects the end users to uh, the core network, the, the RAN, which is full of different antennas or e bees that will uh, give this connectivity and these uh, physical resources to, uh, to, the, to the users that, uh, that will be uh, around in uh, rural areas or in uh, ur urban areas. <coughs> This run will also be divided into different cells, one cell normally for each, uh, each uh, E node B. Good. Uh, multicast. Uh, I think that we mo mainly all of us know this, but uh, what is multicast? So uh, if we go to the right side of the screen, uh, we know what the unicast is. In the unicast, we have one source, which is the red dot, and then we have one destination, which is the green dot. It normally it's straightforward, we have one source, one destination, it is very reliable, but it is inefficient if we want to send the same content to multiple clients, because what we are doing in the end is multiplying the same traffic, which uh, normally is it's an inefficient. That's why we uh, different different ways of casting uh, appear, like broadcast, which is uh, like one to all, or multicast, which is uh, one to many. So one source and multiple destinations, as we can see on the left side of the screen. In here we have again the same red dot, but uh, we are disseminating the same data to the three different people. However, the problem is that this uh, this uh, approach is not as reliable. It, it is more prone to, uh, to to have errors than the than the unicast. I'm not saying that uh, this is unreliable. I'm just saying okay. I'm just saying that this is less reliable than uh, than unicast. Okay. The good thing is that uh, we are not using all the that many resources of the channel. In the end, we will res we will upload the channel because for one single stream, we are uh, we are reaching many users. So uh, now uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the, the cellular network and the problem uh, they have. Uh, if you can, have, as you can see here in the in this image, we see that the, the amount of traffic that is being uh, sent uh, as the mobile data traffic is increasing. Has been increasing over the years from 2016 to 2020, and the, the trend is that it will continue increasing. Moreover. The number of users that uh, that are in the in the in this mobile mobile data traffic are also increasing 
Right now we have a lot of a uh, lot of smartphones, a lot of tablets that produce a lot of traffic. But uh, in the in the last years we are also seeing an increase in the machine to machine communication. However, these machines uh, do not generate a lot of traffic, so this would not be that much of a problem regarding the traffic dissemination. However, uh, regarding uh, regarding the, 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 the video, uh, we can see in the in the image that uh, it uh, generates most of the traffic. In 2016, it was a 60%, and then it is expected to to be around the 78% of the, all the traffic uh, in 2021. What do I mean with this? Well, uh, the problem with uh, cellular networks right now is that they are tackling a scenario where there are a massive amount of devices that are generating a massive amount of traffic due to the video. So, uh, if, is, there, is there a way that we can reduce this traffic while keeping the throughput? Or, uh, or is man maintaining, the, the, maintaining the, the, I mean, increasing the throughput, but uh, trying to, to, to keep the, the traffic uh, the same. Well, what uh, what we, we what we have was a, a, a solution uh, generated by the 3GBP group. Uh, what they what they created was this uh, evolved multimedia broadcast multicast service or EMBMS, which is uh, well it was first developed in the UMTS right in 3G, uh, but. Uh, and what they what they do is more or less like HTTP. In HTTP, what we are doing is uh, the user request to the web page or to the HTTP server the the files whatever they need, and then the the this HTTP server will answer with the content. So uh, what this uh, what this solution uh, proposes is that uh, we are going to use a, a protocol called Flute or file delivery over uni unidirectional transport, which is exactly the same, or more, well, not exactly the same, but more or less like HTTP, but only in a single direction. So from the server only to the user. As you can see uh, down in the, in the picture, we see, for example, HTTP would be the content over unicast, okay? But for broadcast or multicast, what we are using is uh, this MBMS or Flute, which in the end, so MBMS is using Flute. Good. The question is also how, how this uh, EMBMS uh, is, is uh, multicasting to multiple users in different, in different cells. Well, uh, what they use is a, a single frequency network. What does that mean? This means that different transmitters are going to send the same, sig the same signal uh, in the, over the same frequency, the frequency channel. And this is, this is considered as a form of multiple propagation. So in the left side, we see, for example, the multi-frequency uh, multi network. So each, each circle in this image would be a, a cell. Okay, and what we see is that there are many frequencies, and there we are sending actually we are just sending different messages. If we want to send the same message and multicast it, what we do is this these base stations will cooperate between them. They will talk to each other, or there will be some kind of central entity that will uh, will coordinate everything, and they will uh, send with the same frequency. So in this image, we can see also a, a similar map with uh, different uh, base stations that are connected and we see two different uh, single frequency networks areas so we have the one in the, uh, the upper one and the lower one and uh, here for example we can also synchronize the the bo both areas if are if are needed we have also different colors for the different services that we want to to multicast we have the pink one and we have the yellow one with two different single single uh, fre frequency networks if we have two services uh, then we use TDM, so uh, so uh, sometimes we send one uh, frequency, then the other time we send uh, the other one, Good. as you can see in the, the picture. And uh, this looked like a great idea, however, uh, there were uh, some uh, findings uh, in the EVO report from 2014 that the, this, uh, this um, delivery uh, had some, some, some issues regarding the coverage, because the coverage was uh, very low. Then, uh, if the terrain was inst unstable, if we have buildings in the middle, or if we have mountains, uh, it will be uh, hard to be able to maintain the synchronicity. And this is also, uh, that leads to our third point, uh, which is that uh, we uh, the, it was needed also the line of sight. 
So the location of the UE and the UNOV should be either close or and it should, uh, they sh there should be some kind of line of sight uh, between them. Which uh, in a city, for example, it's it's not going. It's very hard that this that this happens because of the the buildings. It was also non eco eco friendly. The way they they was distributing this, uh, the con the the power consumption was huge, and uh, there was also some dis disagreements uh, with the LTE network operator because in the end, uh, these network operators will have to share their resources, which is some kind of uh, open run thing uh, that where that uh, it may happen, uh, but uh, of course we, we need to still have uh, have this in con in, into consideration. Moreover, uh, this uh, is, does not solve the problem of having massive amount of devices coexisting in the same place. Like f uh, in a stadium, for example, if this happens, uh, we are going to need uh, more resources, and this uh, this MBMS will not uh, will not uh, solve uh, this this issue because it's a way to multi multicast and disseminate the traffic. But if we have many users that are requesting the same content, uh, the, if we want to stream to all of the, to multicast to all of the users, we might have also bottlenecks. So uh, this, uh, this uh, deployment, this idea it was good. However, uh, right now, it's not, uh, we don't use this. So what we are using is a unicast every time we request a video file or every, every time we request a resource, which is great if we are alone. However, what happens in high dense scenarios like stadiums or conferences where could be that many people are streaming the, are, are, are requesting the same video file to see the match, for example, for different, from different angles. Well, if there is one user, there is going to be one unicast con connection. However, if there are 1000 users, we will have 1000 unicast connections which of course it's very very inefficient and overloads the run because uh, we will have to send 1000 times when we could just send um, only one one time that's why we uh, have uh, these network coded cooperative uh, networks which is a solution that tackles especially this uh, this uh, problem <laughs>